everyone, and we are taking a look at Halcyon 6. Uh, we had a spare gap in the rotation, and this game was recommended to me by a good friend of the channel, our buddy Default. He said it was a combination, kind of combination between FTL and XCOM, and that we should check it out. So we're checking it out. We're going to be playing through at least a little bit of Halcyon 6, probably at least like a full campaign, presumably, depending on how long it takes. So main campaign on hard mode. Uh, it goes all the way up to, it goes to hard, very hard, extremely hard, impossible, unfathomable. I think it's the first time I've seen a game with the difficulty level of unfathomable. I'll just start at regular old hard. I mean, normal will probably be, like, fair, because it's our first time playing, but we have some experienced strategy games. I think Captain's probably hard. Let's just start the game. And then these are our pro tips. For half a millennium, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. But it was the Terran Federation, through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class, that ultimately prevailed. So, Earth, with like a, a caste system. Uh, through the discovery and utilization of art, ancient artifacts left over from a long dead precursor alien race, uh, the precursors, see Halo, uh, they put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. One of those precursor artifacts is your home, Halcyon 6. The crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon sector. Commanded by Admiral Brumachandra, Federation's most decorated officer, and protected by the 12th Fleet, Starbase is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers, the mission of unlocking his mysteries. So, um, the Citadel, see Mass Effect. Today, however, the station receives some unwelcome news. A garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet's return to Federation space. With the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue the work on the experiment, Admiral Brumachandra leaves you in charge of the station. Okay, prepare for warp. Got it. Warping through right into the middle of the new Terran Federation. Is that where Halcyon 6 is? Is it actually in the middle? Admiral Vrad, the wrong viewpoint. There's no sign of the welcoming force. No hypercast signals detect either. I think we're early. Broaden your signal detection, Captain. The 4th and 8th fleets are expected to join us as well. Those Titan class ships should be hard to miss. Admiral, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation origin. Some kind of. whatever it is, getting bigger. I've never seen anything like this. It's some kind of portal. Admiral, so I get multiple ship readings. I'll head for our position. They must be coming out of that thing. But prepare for battle stations. The, the red alert. Ensign. Uh, commander, they're pairing up weapons. We should take the initiative attack first. Click on the highlight button to attack with the incisor beam. Got it. I don't know why you're ordering me. I'm supposed to be admiral or whatever. Use the backstab maneuver to inflict ship disabled and prevent your enemy from attacking. Inflict ship disabled. Exploits crew panic. So that must be some of the... Uh, some interactions. We can use attacks that they get bonuses if certain uh, effects are, in, are underway. Select drone storm to attack all enemies at once. Go get them, drones. Release the drones. Enemies have resistances and vulnerabilities against specific status effects. It's extremely important they take advantage of this. You can right click on an enemy to view their vulnerabilities and resistances. Rule ocular vessel. Powers and other oh, resistances. Ship is immune to ship disabled wall, ship disabled, all right, zero percent, and everything. What about you guys? Psh, no, no resistances at all. Now, ocular vessels seem to be pairing up a large attack. Shield yourself with protective field to mitigate the damage. Who does it target? Everyone, cool. Ocular vessel sells to ship disabled status. Fire bridge shot to combo and exploit the ship disabled status effect for extra damage. Bridge shot, exploit ship disabled. Ship disabled, exploited. Combos occur when an attack exploits ship's effect, like ship disabled. I assume that it just does bonus damage. It's like the acid bombs power to attack your enemies, doing damage over several rounds. I like damage over time. Especially AoE damage over time. Engines down. Taking a lot of damage. <laughs> when ships are in critical condition, any further damage could result in complete destruction. Use Cauterize Hull to repair the ship immediately. Heal a small amount of HP. That did not seem very helpful. Uh, now select straight if you want to try to finish them off. Does damage. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, great job, however, the Admiral is still in bad shape. Select the Repair Drone Overdrive power to repair. All repair abilities have limited number of uses per mission and must be replenished. 
Yeah, please don't die. In the tutorial, that'd be really embarrassing. Hull Breach. Use the ninja's Doom Cannon as last resort. It can only be used once. Doom Cannon. So that's the name of the ship, the ninja, the paladin, and the warlock. Alright, those are probably just classes of ships. Uh, okay. Target the chitinous monster. Got it. I didn't even do, didn't even do that much damage. Commander McLaren's ninja is in critical condition and is taking damage from... Taking damage over time from Hull Rupture. If it's not repaired immediately, it might be destroyed. That sucks. Rip. Uh, the Warlock's cauterized hull repair power has no more uses left. Your only hope is to use stasis lock to disable the enemy. Alright. Stasis. Finished off with the Dreadnought Ram. Exploits engines down. His engines are down. A lot of damage. Oh no! No, Commander! Admiral! Yeah. We lost ship of the battles almost once. Select Solar Flare to finish it off. This is for McLaren, you bastard. Alright, we we won the tutorial. Good for me. Lieutenant Commander Rogers. Admiral, pick up one of those portals on sensor. There's a lot of portals. I don't like this. So this is up the cruel. That probably just cruel. We'll just call him the cruel. Admiral, we need to jump back now. Back to Halcyon Six. I've got. Oh, hello, giant space face monster. Oh God, what is that thing? Jump now, for God's sake! Jump now. All right, so that's probably like a boss and fight at some point. Commander, we seem to have lost our hypercast link with Admiral Brimacondra and the Twelfth Fleet. Being interfered by the the warp interference of the giant arrival of the Tyranid uh, fleet. Also, there's the light speed edition. There's classic edition and light speed edition. This is the like DLC updated uh, version of the game. With the twelfth fleet destroyed and little information as to whether Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien territory, cut off from resupply, and in desperate need of crew. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Brimacondra's experiment to try to unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Choose your first officer. My first officer, or like my first officer. <laughs> I mean, two different two different things. Um, a physicist, strategist, or a mechanic. Dude, there's like a lot of information here. Uh, let's just let's just go over it as quick as we can. Just kind of kind of take a quick review. Proficiency, weaknesses, proficiency, weaknesses, proficiency, weaknesses. I mean, I'm leaning towards the strategist or the physicist. Bridge shot, dimensional flashbang, fire will. Anybody have, like... I don't want to be... So these are allies. So they have some... That's not a lot of damage. I think I'll just take the strategist. That seems like just a, a, a regular old sh shooty guy. I like shooty guys. Prestige... Chaos Theorist, Counselor, and Commando. Oh, Commando sounds cool too, though. Focus Fire, Focus Fire. Whoa, there's a broadside. You know, oh, never mind. You know what? This sounds way cooler. Mechanic sounds way cooler. Broadsides, uh, repairs, rams. We can get Focus Fires, Kinetic Expulsions. Uh, uh, punch? We can punch them? All right, I'll take the, the mechanic. Engineering officers are the toughest and most mechanically minded officers Federation. Their power repertoire consists of damage over time, hard hitting, and taunting attacks with buffs which protect allies from harm. In space combat, engineering officers are able to command engineering ships which have the toughest hull of the three ship types. Tactical, science, engineering. Suppose we just get a review of all of them real quick then. Tactical officers are the most daring and quick thinking officers. Their power repertoire consists of sneak attacks, immobilization, and combo attacks. So what buff powers can offer it. Often add aim and damage boosts. In space combat, tactical officers are able to command tactical ships, the hardest hitting of the three ship class types. And then that suggests science, like the support class. Most creative and brilliant officers Federation, the power repertoire often consists of AoE, quick hitting attacks, and debuffing attacks. While their buff attacks can buff powers can heal or protect friendly units. Science officers are able to command science ships, the fastest of the three ship types. Oh, I'll stick with the the mechanic. It just that just sounds fun. Sorry, wake command. Looks like they have a situation. Such a pickup fleet coming from our direction. Signals just pirates. We should expect them to arrive here in 48 hours. In case of hostilities, the experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make necessary preparations. Oh, it's been 48 hours. 
Commander's incoming fleet detected just enter a space. It's a single pirate ship, likely hostile. Patch them through now. Federation Starbase, our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admirax Zeb and the Zealots Clan. Hand over the Starbase will allow you to return Federation space. Comply or we will commence orbital bombardment. Or I'll just, uh, attack you. This is a scenario screen. The screen will appear during missions that require key decisions, such as attacking or treating. Uh, reject the surrender? <laughs> Hit. You should reject the surrender. Forgot you feder federales love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment. I think we'll be okay. Command lines is We should be initializing the experimental starship creation process now. Wait, we can just, like... We're building... Wait, we're... Hold on, we're building ships? The night class engineering vessel is currently the only starship your starbase is able to build. Click on it. Now click the construct button. Alright, well, that's easy. Uh, now click the construct button. Yes, yes, that's what, that's what we're doing. Ship will take a few days to build. Does that have to get shot up for, like, three days? Okay, so I have to manage your station health. We have crew morale. I'm not sure that's for the station or for our fleet or so overall. That's the number of crew. Suppose these are all our resources then. Uh, skip time, you need to return to the star map. Click the star map. Click here to skip time. Is he, is he just not shooting the base? Does he still seem to be at max health. Hey! Commander, the experiment was success. All scans suggesting the construction ship to be combat ready. Just needs the officer. Well, there you go. So we need to get more officers to build more ships. More resources to build more ships, get more fleet. I guess would we be able to... Because it looks like the max number of ships we could have was three in that battle. I'm wondering if we have multiple fleets or if we just upgrade the ships or what exactly we do. I click on the top, select the ship slot. And then put in our ship. And launch the fleet. Easy enough. Pirate ship swoops in and we attack them dead. For every battle, you can pirate ships by configuring their loadouts. Use opportunity to select abilities to take advantage of the enemy's vulnerabilities if you can. He has vulnerable to engines down. Do we do, we do engines, engines down? We do do engines down. Wait, that exploits engines down. Do the other thing that inflicts engines down. No, we do not. Uh, this should be fine. Is, is that always there? That first, yeah, we made some maneuvers always there. Engage the enemy. Hello, pirate scumbag. How in the world will they hit him? Probably with the aiming. Deconstruct. Probably that sounds kind of lame, doesn't it? They should have taken a different, uh... Different attack. Oh, it's disabled the ship, yeah. Hey, yeah, you're disabled. Everything exploits disabled. No, we do not. We can inflict a hull breach. Hey, hey, what's that? Hey. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't like it. And pirate ship, down. Basically, the second tutorial mission. We've done it. We are, we can, we survived the tutorials. Looks like our new ship has held up pretty well, though I doubt that's the worst we'll face. Commander, we have a long-range hypercast coming in. From time to time, leaders of various factions may contact you. I don't believe we met. Feel free to refer to me as the Admirax. Are you the pirate? The title of those my supreme commander or the pirate clan. Yeah, but okay. Now, commander, should I say acting commander? My spies tell me I should congratulate you on your new post. It also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. So I'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we'll be visiting you very soon. Oh, jeez. This is my territory, and your station belongs to me. And lucky for you, I've united all pirate clans to help me take it. I highly suggest you turn tail and return to Federation space. If you are of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. Alright. He was, that was a scary guy. Time for death, pig. That's rude. I'll avenge the death of Toe Slicer. That's, I mean, okay. I'll just kill you. These massive death cannons I'm warming up are really loud. Oh, these little baby ships. Just wee little baby ships. Uh, we can edit that. What do we have instead of deconstruct? Disable countermeasures, does some damage, and inflicts vulnerable. Do anything that exploits vulnerable? No, not really. I don't need that. This does... 
less damage because it's times three that we've done. It, 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 start, start, start the battle. Hey, we're still hurt. But, um, like, if you don't shoot me, that's all that, though. You're disabled. Try to finish him off. Stop, stop shooting me. All breach in the. We are so fast! <laughs> Kill one, please. Oh. Oh my god, Brack should just open with that. Oh yeah, it says there's plenty of damage. Man, these little cruisers are fast. Yeah, I should have just hit it with the flat garage. That's way more damage. The deconstruction can cause the hull breach some damage over time, but it doesn't seem like that much compared to just hitting them with the flak. Which would make sense, considering they're small ships, hitting them with the flak would make sense to do more damage. Looks like I'll have no shortage of charred metal for the time being. You can always return your fleet to the starbase by clicking on your desired fleet, and then clicking the return home button. You replenish all your permission limited use abilities, and repair, and when you get there, okay. Come here, the crew's eager to regain the full sensor capabilities to do that will require an extra source of energy. Good news is the tech research team has found out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a smaller standard issue, Diuthrium Reactor. Oh, research? Oh my god, this game this game is like more complicated than I expected. I can see the XCOM mechanic. Okay, so I can see the XCOM part now with the uh, all this base management and how you're fighting a war, so it's like a war management. I expect it to be more just uh, the turn-based combat. The combat's the FTL part. I got it backwards. The combat is the FTL part. And then the management is the XCOM part. I was expecting it their way around. Research. Yeah, generates power. Cool. You get get to it. Click on our star base. Oh, and then, yeah. Yeah, XCOMs. The, the buildings. <laughs> I, I, oh, I had it backwards. That's awesome, though. Because normally when you think of XCOM, you do think of the combat. But the uh, management's a big part of the game, too. Click on the ruined room. Which ruined room? Click on the ruined room below. Okay, right there. Click add officer button. We only have one officer. Click confirm. Good, 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 good. Skip time. Does it automatically stop when something happens or have to manually stop it? Uh, commander cleared out the section you asked for. Acknowledged. Successfully cleared the room. And construct the reactor. Are you gonna make me fast forward time again? Alright, you're just teaching me how it works. Now get us our reactor. Up and going. Station is fully powered and sensors are back online. It took like four days. We've compiled a navigational map of the Federation systems and facilities. As loyal members of the Federation officer classes, our duty to protect these facilities all classes. I'm not sure I like the weird implicit, implicit like caste system with a Federation officer class. Like we you're just a no, like the noble class. It's like a feudal system. In case of an attack, these facilities will transmit stress signals to us. Depending on level of danger in the area, you may wish to evacuate them. Just as signals will always be listed in the missions panel. Missions with specific locations will have a go-to button for your convenience. Send your fleet to the nearby nebula. Yeah, got it. Where? How do I... Oh, there we go. I did it. Did I do it? I did it. I would love a new a new ship, but oh well. <laughs> I gotta wait to get a new ship right now. We just have this little baby tier 1 uh, engineering ship. What are you vulnerable to? Hull breach. Beautiful. Does he take more damage or is this more likely to happen? I don't know. Extra dangerous engineering. That's sad because we're engineering. What is invasive maneuvers? Forfeiting the opportunity to attack for plus 10 evasion. Okay. Sable. Oh! Okay, you just shot me back with my own gun. I got it. What about we, uh. Breach your hull. There we go. Lots of damage. And then we finish them off. Alright, that ship is super weak. Good thing you turned up when you did, sir. Whatever that vessel was, it managed to chew up our only sentry ship a few days ago. Can we get multiple stations? It is some nasty damage to our refinery. Also, my crew is shaking up. Good news is we got some fuel reserves from before the attack. Just give the word, we'll transfer them over to you. Yes, please. 
Ah, okay. So this is a fuel refinery. So this crew here. Okay. Chance, give me the give me the fuel. Turn your fleet by. Return your fleet to the star base to unload. Yeah, we can't click on them. Hit the return button. Got it. We got 15 fuel. And 15 materials. I would kind of get a new. I would really like to build a new ship. Commander, with all recent events, the crew felt necessary to create a short briefing for you. Here it is. Upgrade the star base, recover facilities, investigate space pirates. I think I can, like, handle that. Oh, what have I done? Building new room modules for our first. I know. I, okay. Oh, geez. Officer Academy. All right, that's helpful information. Federation facilities. Following the invasion, most of the Federation destroyed. Some facilities have been overlooked, and we should explore and exploit them. Investigate space pirates are down here because they're jerks and they want to destroy us, and they're raiding our base, which is up here. So this is the Federation territory that's been abandoned, and this is the pirate space. Start game. Oh, this is the game starting for sure? Before you start, you should directly promote new officers from the ranks. I prepared a list. Hey, we get a new, a new character, an inventor. So the inventor must be a different engineering character, I assume. But we don't want to, even though these look kind of cool too. Like, death from above? Oh, it inflicts self-damage. Interesting. Or a self, uh... Self-status effects. Possibly just get a physicist for... Bonuses. If, if the physicist is more of a support, then we should take the strategist. So, Talisha, welcome to the team. Oh, and then, okay. They can cross over these classes. Got it. Tactical officer reporting for duty. You need a boat. Can I, can I build you a boat? Go to our star base. We need to explore. Uh, can I, let's go. Let's go to ship management though. I need a new ship. Also, can you repair my ship, please? For twenty purple. That's dark matter. That's not much at all. So definitely repair that. And can I build a? Can I build a new ship? We're in ship management. Yeah. Can I not build a new ship? That is the tech tree for upgrading the engineer, evidently. Ship construction right here. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, geez. Okay, we have... It's a tactical officer we hired. So a marksman or a rogue. The rogue looks cooler. Uh, it's tougher. Does slightly less damage. Same aim, has some def uh, evasion though. It's a little slower. That one has higher crit, which one's more expensive? That one's slightly more expensive. That is the wrong thing. Marksman's like, yeah, a little bit more expensive. It's a lot weaker. It has higher base damage and higher crit, but lacks same defense. That was support. You know, we'll just take the, the rogue. Construct. And then we go back to our star base and let's build some stuff. Add an officer. You are. What are you doing? Oh, you need. You don't. You're not high enough level to explore these rooms yet. Can we explore anywhere else? Task available. So that must mean to be able to explore there, right? Yes. So you go in there because you do not have a. Sh you do not have a command yet. So you can explore there. What do you want? That is a lot. What is, what is this? A reason amount of time required to construct starships. Is this research? Is this a research room? I mean, these sound like researches. Yeah, these sound like researches. So we'll get to that. So we want more officers, because not only will they be leading ships, they're doing all our other work. They're leading all our other work as well. Uh, no other tasks, other explorations. So while she's doing that, let's go to the star map and do a mission. Ghost head. Upgrade fuel for, oh, we can also upgrade the sectors. Oh, gee, that's, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Way more complicated than I thought. Oh yeah, that's what it wants to do is upgrade the fuel refinery. So you there, officer, why are you unavailable, I guess? We have to use the lady that doesn't have a, a ship. So until then, gotta find something. 
Send a fleet. Oh, we can do that. Go. Yeah, okay, sure. Commander Izzel Freehold's fleet made contact with the fuel refinery. Hello. hello. They bravely volunteered to remain at work. Well, thank you so much. Probably because if they don't, they'll never get out of here alive. Uh, transfer one fuel to fleet. That's it. That's all we got. Okay. I don't want to evacuate them. Can I upgrade the facility from here? Yeah, we could. We don't need to, but I could. So that's not our objective right now. Objective is upgrade down there. You're still exploring the room. And head head on down there. You what 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 are you what are you doing? Do, go down there now. What are you doing down there? Starbase exploration event team stumble upon a leecher hive. It seems as though your crew's presence has yet to be detected. What is your course of action? Attack the leecher hive. She leads a small crew down to leecher hive, weapons out, ready for anything. Okay, here's all I wanted to say. I wanted to see if there's ground combat. So we do actually have ground officers. Cadet, cadet, and our actual officers. Deploy. Was it just one one bug? That was pretty brutal. <laughs> he almost died. Inflicts blinded. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and blind that thing. Maybe it won't kill all of you now. You guys, what do you do? Exploits afflicted. Inflicts shocked. What does shocked do? You don't tell me. You just absorb. Inflicts blinded, exploits confused. Yeah, I should have different attacks. Surprise, I expect these two uh, generic guys to have the same attacks. Oh god, we're going, he's going to die! We're going to lose a crewman! Throw the grenade. Maybe get some damage over time in there. And you can try to blind him again. That was pretty cute. You missed the. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that was, <laughs> that was, I wasn't prepared for that. That was really brutal. Oh, right, he killed the worm. Lost uh, a red shirt. Ironically, not a guy wearing red. But we explored the room. We got the room cleared out. And he's leveled up. Oh, the leader, leecher hive destroyed. Extra crew is able to continue their mission. Acknowledge. They aren't done yet, unfortunately. Can I level her up? I can. Targeting assistance, ground power, wait, ground combat. Well, I mean, obviously, ground combat, we're gonna do that as a thing. I'd rather have the space combat. It seems like something we're gonna be dealing with more often. Yeah, so take the bridge shot. Oh, we can just see what they do. Damage 150%, inflicts weapons disruption. Damage 100%, inflicts stuff on self, but. Also causes engines down. Uh, yeah, take the snipers. Sniper systems? Bridge shot. Sniper system must be the name of the tree. Good, good job, Talisha. Keep digging. Glad you leveled up with all that digging. Oh, there's missions. Oh, there's notifications. We already got that one. There's a, a, a cube of events. Let's just fast forward time, finish up this boat, and then we'll save it here. Man, we've cleared out the section. Can I build anything here? Construct room. Increases amount of dark matter gained from missions. That was officer create new dark matter. Additional 20 power. We have 20 free power. Increased amount of materials. We'd be using lots of dark matter. I guess we just build dark matter. Or not build anything at all. Not too late, already building stuff. And then our new. Do we have a shipyard available? Or a ship available yet? It is available in one day. During that one day, you should keep exploring. Go up here. Go get him, Talisha. I believe in you. Confirm task. It's only one day. She'll be fine. Back to the star map. Trying to complete this mission, which was upgrade the facility, I believe. Oh, was it which, which which one was it? Also, it doesn't want me to do either. Why can't I do either? Oh, because you have to add the officer, of course. 
The mission was for upgrade the refinery. Da 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 da. Form one upgrade. Fuel refinery capacity. Right there. Add the officer. The guide's visiting, of course. Confront a task. That takes three days. It'll be fast forwarding while everyone completes everything. But that's going to be the first episode, Halcyon 6. So a little different from what I expected, but not in a bad way. So I see what he means by the XCOM FTL um, comparisons. I thought it was going to be opposite a little bit. But that's FTL combat with FTL style combat. Not necessarily, you know what I mean? It's not darting systems and rooms and you have multiple ships. But it's uh, kind of that turn-based and you select uh, attacks and weapons. Obviously a little different from how FTL works. FTL is much more intimate and how the ship works. This is a little more simplified. But the XCOM, the base management, the Empire management, I see that coming up. So not a... And not a rogue. I didn't say it was a rogue. I hope I didn't say it was a rogue. It definitely seems like a linear... Uh, conquer your area of the galaxy experience. Which is going to be just fine by me. Seems like there's a nice deal of content here to keep us busy as we defend... This lovely little alien space station. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe more fun to Shag's deal. I'll see you next time. And your obscure compliment for the night is um something something space. I try to make a space compliment. Not a lot of people go to space, unsurprisingly. So hard to make a space themed continent uh co continent. It would be hard to make a space themed continent space themed compliment. So you you're just you're just a real 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 neat real neat dude. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.